Yes, today I found this Uniqlo down jacket, so I would like to introduce it to you. So, this is a high-end model that is quite high up in the Tayo line, and Tayon is, well, it has excellent cost performance, isn't it? I was wondering what a top-class down jacket is like, and I was interested, so I bought one. So, I would like to go there right away, but when you say, body on, everyone thinks of inner down, right? I think you think of something like a Gina down, but the final conclusion is that's where I go. That's what I'm going to do. So I would like to end today here, so first I would like to wear this down jacket. This is not an inner down jacket, but a full-fledged down jacket. So the official name is a jacket called a sports down bench jacket. It's a down jacket that has a cutoff feel, and you can see that it's quite a bit of a down jacket. But even this down jacket has a bag like this attached to it. You can carry it around. I think Tayo probably does this almost everywhere, so there are almost all of them. I'm wearing this in size L. I'm 178 kilograms and weigh 65 kilograms, and since it's a Japanese size, I think it's fine to wear it as usual. This down jacket is quite unique, isn't it? It doesn't look like much, and for example, it has a back attached to it, and it's not very common to have a back attached to it, and the pockets are actually double layered, and they can be accessed from the side, but they also have a zipper on the top, so they're two-way pockets. Most pockets go in like this. You can see that they go in from the side, right? You don't often walk in and go in. The reason is that the flag goes up like this, so if you go in like this, you can put your hand in like this while keeping it down, so it's really easy. That's what the clerk at the store said about how they've thought about it. I bought one at Oshiman's the other day and it was really high quality, and I honestly think it exceeds Uniqlo. First of all, I bought the fabric from Uniqlo. This fabric is called Ripstop Nylon, and it's a leftover material from the lecture hall, but it's often used by the Autoda brand. What about Unicoro? What about you, Yunai San? If there is one, Unicoro has a famous seamless down parka. But these kind of things have a stretchy material and are worn at 6 o'clock. Uniqlo has a major company called Toyo Leon, which is a material manufacturer, and they make it with Tuck Poon, so Uniqlo actually has a lot of unique articles. But for us, that's not very familiar, is it? What kind of functions do they have? I'm worried about whether they can really withstand the rain or whether they stretch, but the amazing thing about this umbrella is that it uses 100% fabric that is so good that it doesn't look bad like the North Face or outdoor brand Patagonia. By purchasing existing fabrics without incurring development costs, the condition can be reduced. Well, there are many people who can imitate it. Well, well, in that sense, the choice of fabric is strong, isn't it? That's 800%. There's some flap in here, but what is this? It's 800 filler, which is this down that's in it. Well, I'd like you to take a look at it, but there are 600, 700, and 800 fillers in order. And even though they have the same weight, the umbrella height is completely different. The 600 is sparse at the top. If you use 700, it's a bit too much, but if you use 800, it's more dense, so this 800 filler is used. Of course, it's more expensive per gram. This is quite cheaper than 600 or 700. It's that expensive, but when you get to 800, it goes from about 5,000 yen per kilogram to, say, 20,000 yen per kilogram. So, it's four times as much. So, that's why high quality is used and the retention is higher for us. It's the ripstop material that I mentioned earlier, which is used in the outdoors, and North and Patagonia also use E down. When you ask how much it costs, it's under 25,000 yen, 24,970 yen. Really? It's really a great value for money. It's amazing, and that alone is amazing, but it's also equipped with a lot of equipment. There are pockets around the neck, side access, vertical access, and other things, and in fact, there are also inner pockets. It's around the neck. If you use this zipper around the neck, you can put on the hood, so you can change the look a little, or take off the hood if you want to keep your neck fresh. Oh, I see. It has that function too. And yet it's incredibly light. It's made with 800 filler, so it's lighter than it looks. So there's nothing bad about it if you go that far. Okay, let's go buy it. Wait a minute. In the end, it's still an inner down. What are you talking about? Well, isn't this just a normal down? Originally, this Sudan was made as an inner down. It was derived from an inner down, and I think it was probably made with the idea that if you can't make a thin down, let's try a heavy down, and that would be good. So they made these heavy downs, and although the down is of course great in the essential areas and the cost performance is also great, from our perspective, it's becoming less and less convenient to use. Hey, hey, isn't that what you're saying? Yesterday I had a lot of thoughts like, hey, I said it, but I think that if I asked the developers and designers if they had made this important Bonkachin jacket and put on the undershirt, they would have been annoyed. But the reason is that the front is buttoned. You know what I'm trying to say, right? If it's this button, what's with this gap? If it's really cold and the wind is blowing, 
glowing. It's really cold, but is it okay? That's the first point. The second point is that no matter how you look at the cuffs, they are the cuffs of an inner down jacket. You don't often use these cuffs on normal down jackets, do you? It's not because it's cheap or because it's tight, but it's not used as a design in the first place, and the thin part is held in place by this rubber. But when it becomes a thick down jacket, it starts to slip. It's also heavy. When that happens, you can secure it with Velcro, or put in a little more rubber, or you can use cowhide crocodile, and then you put in this kind of knit. That's why the wind doesn't get in. But if you look at my hands, you can see that there are some gaps. There are some places where you wonder what's going on in those gaps, and it's a little cold, and when I put on and took off this zipper just now, the fabric goes in like this, and the zipper fits. This is probably something that would be solved if they put the samples back on many times, but surprisingly, Apple doesn't make that many samples. How many times do they make samples? About once. It's a matter of what you can tell from one time, but well, there are budgetary and deadlines, so it's like, let's just do it five times. Quote, so I'm personally concerned about the fact that they're watching if it gets caught here. When you take off the hood, you're like, no, 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 just take it off and take it off. Quote, of course, it's not the best, but when I take it off, I usually take it off like this. If it gets too much of a hassle to take it off, this is what happens. So I never use it again. I think it would be even better if it was easier to wear. So most of the time the hood is buttoned and the front is zippered. But in the end it's the other way around. On the contrary, this side is buttoned and this side is zippered. So it's hard to put on and take off which I personally think is a bit of a problem, but I also bought a two-way fleece that keeps the body temperature down. So, if I were to say what's good about it, I think this is the best cost performance I've had in the last 10 years, and I think this brand, Tion, is amazing. As for the items to look out for, I mentioned it the other day at Oshiman's, but the inner vest is really good. So, I bought an inner vest because it was good, but it was 5,000 yen. It was about 4,000 or 5,000 yen, but I'm not saying it's good because it's cheap, but it's easy to use even if it's 50,000 yen. So I thought that if I'm going to do payo, I'll have an inner vest, and I think there are a lot of them. So, I have an inner down jacket, and I have something like that. Inner down jackets are a little different. The reason is that whether they have sleeves or not makes a big difference, and the less you have, the better, because that's how you use your body heat. So I'll make a separate video about that. Anyway, I had a little too high expectations for this down jacket this time. This inner down jacket was so amazing that I thought the down jacket would be amazing too, so I hurriedly bought two. I bought a fleece too weight in this, but it feels a bit strange. I'm a little concerned about the key points. Did the fleece fit? We talked about how it was a bit weird, and how this one was a bit weird, but in the end we decided that it was probably an inner down jacket, so I settled on that this time. So please introduce the sun to everyone. I said that the town stand is also good, but it's definitely a good idea to look at the specs. If you just look at the specs displayed on the internet, it looks perfect, but when you actually use it, you'll have to ask, can I use this button? Does it keep air out? Is it okay if the zipper gets stuck? Is it okay if the wind comes in through this sleeve opening? Is it okay? Quote, and other small details like that, right? I didn't know this kind of thing without buying it, so I bought it, and to be honest, the inner down jacket is the best. Well, if you're talking about Matto, it's like a Big Mac, and this is like a hamburger that comes out sometimes, a hamburger that comes out for a limited time, and oh, well, that comes out sometimes, but it's a bit off, so it's a classic. So, I thought this thick inner down jacket and inner down vest would be the best, and, if you look at down jackets, you'll see things like this. Well, Nupsi is also good, and in the end, if you just think about the price of 25,000 yen, it's good, it's cheap, so I bought it. It's exactly as Taku said, the umbrella gets in through the button here and it's cold. If I end up buying a new one because I ask 3 questions every day, then the 25,000 yen will be meaningless. So, as I often say on this channel, it's not about the price, but about looking at the essence of it, can you use it? If it's expensive but you can't use it, then it's pointless, but if it's cheap but you can use it, then that's fine, and that's where I want to end today, so, personally. I was a little disappointed, and, well, I think I had too high expectations, but, well, I think Inner Dom is so amazing that they've put in so much effort as a company, and I think they're a great company, but, well, when it comes to down jackets, I think it's fine to just ignore them, that's my true opinion, if there are people who buy them, then they're great, so let's use them for a long time, so, well, today, I would like to introduce the Tayo down jacket in this video, see you in another video, thank you, oh, ah,